fashionable zones and arty precincts, you probably think Melbourne, but there's a new hot spot on the rise. It's Brisbane and it's beautiful. And a chic influence on all this stylish boom is a Brisbane-born artist. And she's more than happy to welcome us into her beautiful home. Hi, Kerry. Hi, Tara. Oh, Good Lovely to see, to see you. What a great spot you have. Thank you so much. Why so don't you nice. come on in through? Love to. Oh, Kerry, this is divine. Is this a typical Queenslander? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, a lot of the details are just very, very typical. High ceilings, beautiful windows, all original? Yes, all original. Wherever you go, it's always white walls, dark floors. I think so, because I used to live in Paris. I think of bright white walls and dark floors because that's really typical of Paris, but obviously I wanted to keep in the Queensland features and mix the two worlds, I suppose. But the kitchen benches were all, all redone. They were a really dark brown vinyl situation when I moved in, and that's the one thing I really sledged on, um, which I, I love. I try and not have too many things. I think the less things you have in life, the more calm you are in yes, general. I'd agree with I that. Try and live by that anyway. With the white, do you find that difficult to keep clean? Oh, I think with white, Tara, the best thing is to have things in white that are wipeable surfaces. So, uh, you know, leather or walls, I think are fine in white. I probably wouldn't have a white fabric couch with a child. I think that would be way too stressful. Causing yourself too much yes, work. Yes, yes, absolutely. Is that an old dresser? Yes. That is a dresser that I found in a charity store when I lived in Melbourne. And I managed to strap it to the top of my car at the time, <laughs> my V-dub, and I drove it home and spray painted it black. Who's this lovely lady? This one over here is inspired by Grace Kelly. I love Grace. Yeah, I'm obsessed with her films uh, in the Hitchcock days. Oh yeah, amazing. Yes, very timeless and I try and go for that kind of timeless vintage look in as many of my pieces as possible. And you travel all over the world doing this, don't you? Yes. Now this is every girl's dream, oh, surely. thank you. Yeah. Basically there was a spare room in the house when I bought it and I thought, maybe I can have a dressing room. So yeah, it's, I mean to put in shelving, but at the moment I wow. quite like that it's all kind of open. I love that. The mirror makes this room. I absolutely love that. Just happened to stumble across it in a little antique store in Wollongabba in Brisbane. Just beautiful. Yeah. And you've even got some of your art in here on the wall as well. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. nice to have a little bit of art in every room. Absolutely. Oh, Kerry, the dream continues. Oh, thank Stunning. You. Thank you. And again, you've continued the white, which makes yes. it feel bigger in here. It's not a huge bedroom, so I think I wanted to keep this very, very white. And again, for sleeping and feeling calm in the evening, white and black is, is yeah. I think, a nice scheme. And you've got your artwork. I love that one. I think that's particularly clever, what you've done there, because you've obviously got a window in an awkward spot. Yeah, but maybe that balances it out. That was obviously the hope. Yeah. Well, it's worked. Yeah. It's really beautiful. I love it. This is where you come to the office every day? This is it. This is the office. So you are obviously a very busy working artist. Yes. And you do your canvases. Yes. But you do collaborations as well. Yes. So obviously shoes. Mobile phone covers. Phone cases, yes. This is one that I've seen before, which I'm totally envious. Lagerie, did you have a lifetime supply of macarons for doing this? <laughs> I did, unfortunately. Yeah. That was a bit of a special collaboration for me. I guess half of my work is working with these amazing brands like Chanel and Louis Vuitton, Le Dure, as well as doing my own prints, which is the other 50% of my work. Um, and that probably is the more special side for me because it's going into people's homes and it's I can choose exactly which prints I want to do. So that's, it's a good balance. I like doing both. Would you show me how you paint a little? Just yeah, let's do that. Let's work. do a watercolour. Uh, I'd love to be in your space. Great. Right. This is such a beautiful space to paint. Light filled, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I notice you're not sketching first in pencil, you're sketching in brush. Yes, yes, I tend to do that really pale, watered down uh, grey as the first sketch, and then I'll go in with colour. Mm -hmm. And the paper that you're working on, that's a watercolour paper? Yeah, it's like a thick um, French watercolour archer's stock. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, super thick so that you don't have that movement with mm -hmm. lots, of, lots of water because I like to add a lot of water into the dresses and yeah. things like that. Yeah. I think with watercolour, it, it either works out or it doesn't. So you're better to just go for it and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work out, then I will just start again. Scrap the paper. That's it. That's Hang it. It's such a volatile type of paint. 
So if somebody wanted to do a Kerry Hess inspired painting, what yes. would your advice be? Because I know people always say, well, hands are hard to draw or faces are hard to paint. Yes. I would say if you're not feeling confident with faces and hands, to just focus more on the body. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a longer shot of, you know, a silhouette or just focusing more on the dress mm -hmm. and have a very simple face because dresses and outfits are probably easier to, to, to master the first time than hands and faces. Okay, that's yeah. a good way to start for sure. Yeah. Kerry Hess, thank you so much for showing us around your gorgeous home and for the art tips. I'm inspired. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much, Tara. It's been great. Oh, we've loved it.